Okay, so in this example, we're going to see they're asked to express the following number in word form and expanded notation. So I need to express my number in word form, using words, in the expanded notation, which is the digit times its place. First of all, how are they giving me the number that I, that I have to change? How are they giving me my number? Which of these four are they using to give me my number? The? They're giving me the word form? No, they're asking me for the form in the expanded notation. How is the number given? How is this? What is this? This is, is this the expand, the standard form, the expanded form, or the expanded notation, or form? Which of these four is this number? Is that the standard? Does that look like this? Not me. They are giving me the, the expanded form. How? Because it's the value of each digit. It's the value of the digits. Look here, that's the value of the digit. So I have my number in expanded form. So I need to change it to words in expanded notation. Now the first thing that I have to do is, what's the first thing that I need to do? What is the first thing that I always start with? My place value chart, exactly, thank you sir. The first thing that I need to start with always is my place value chart. And please everybody working with me right now on this one. So I'm gonna do my, my place value chart. Here's my thousands period, my hundred thousands, my ten thousands, my thousands, my hundreds, my tens, my ones. Okay. So now, watch what I'm gonna do. Okay, before I start anything, what do I notice in my expanded form? What do I notice here? I want you to take a look at the number and tell me what do you notice here? What is different from the other ways that we have been doing in the form? It's a, it's a 20 and a 30. What can I do with this 20 and this 30? We can, okay. So what is 20 plus 30? It's 50. Okay, so I can say, wait a minute, I can put these two together and make 50. What else do I notice? Somebody else? What else do you notice in your number? Oh, I see also a 20,000 and again a thousand. Huh, what can I do with 20,000 plus and 10,000? I need to add them. What would be 20,000 plus 10,000? 30,000. 30, there we go. Anything else that I might change? No. 30,650 and 2. Okay, great. So, now what I'm going to do is, I'm, what I want to do is, I always want to do the standard form of the number because from there is where I'm gonna get my expanded form and I can see very well how my number is written, okay? So every time you do a place value, you're always gonna start with your standard form. It's not what they're asking you to do, but you always wanna do it so you know how the number looks. And from there you can, you can take the word form and the expanded notation and all that, okay? Now, look at me. So if I have 30,000, where can I put this 30,000? What place value is the three in? In the 10,000. So I'm not gonna put 30,000 here. I'm just gonna put three. Okay. And I know it's three because it's 30,000. So the 30 should be in the 10,000. My next number is 600. Where am I gonna put this? In the? Hundreds. So I'm going to put the six in the hundreds. Okay. Then I have 50. Where am I going to put my five? In the tens place. And finally I have two. But my number cannot stay this way. 
What do I need? Well, I need a placeholder. Thank you for using that word. Where can I put my place? In the thousands. In the one thousands. So my number, I can see it very well now. My number is 30,652. Okay? Now, from here, I'm going to do my expanded notation. So I'm just going to copy my expanded notation. I'm going to bring down, I'm going to do my expanded form first, which I already have here, so I'm just going to copy it. <coughs> Remember that the zero, I have to put it so I don't forget what the place values are. My 600, my 50. Here, we're going to pull out expanded notation. Okay. The expansion is the digit times its place value. So we're going to say this is three times 10,000 plus this zero is in the thousands place. Then I have the six in the hundred place, six times 100. Plus five times ten, five is in the place, and finally two times one. So I'm going to start with my expanded notation. The expanded notation is the of the number is three times ten thousand plus I'm not gonna use the zero six times one hundred plus five times ten. Oh watch out look we said 50, sorry, my mistake, it's 5 times 10, sorry, 5 times 10, uh, plus 2 times 1. So that's my expanded notation, but they also want the word form. And so to write my number, I'm going to remember what we did way at the beginning. I'm going to separate it by place, by, by periods. What number is that? What number is that? Somebody, what is this number? 30. In what period? 30? In the thousand. So this number is 30, thousand. I'm going to start with that. If I don't remember how to write the number 30, Remember that so have this. Here is the number 30. That's how I write 30. So it's 30,000 because it's in the thousands period. And how do I write this number? How do I read this number? 652. 652, not end. 652, okay? 652. And that's it.